Welcome to Rex Pine CV. I'm Danielle Santiago. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion and perseverance thank you you may not be seated today is tuesday april 21st 2020 now let's go to Jaden to see what happened today in history thank you danielle today in history on april 21st 1789 john adams was sworn in as the first vice president of the united states now let's go to nathaniel to see what to do today if you're bored and stuck indoors thank you Jaden. hello pictures family Welcome to Things to Do If You're Bored. Today we have a new activity for you to try at home if you're bored to take a break and relieve the online learning stress. You know how your parents are always buying so much toilet paper? Well, lots of toilet paper equals lots of toilet paper rolls. So instead of throwing them out, you can make these thrifty crafts. Today we're going to show you how to make a penguin and an octopus out of toilet paper rolls. They look like this. Here are the instructions. First take a used toilet paper roll and some paper. Then tape it on and roll it over it. After you've done that, cut slits into the top and push it in. Then make the body of it using some copy paper and make the eyes. Make sure to draw it out and then you can glue them on. Then you could do the beak. Cut some feet off for your penguin out of cardboard. Then wrap them in paper. Then attach the, the feet to the penguin. Take a roll of paper and toilet paper and wrap it around and after you've done that cut some strands at the bottom and use a pencil to curl them and then draw some eyes and cut them out and glue them onto the octopus and then you can add a mouth wow they look so fun remember if you do this crap you can send us a picture or video of yourself with it too on ransoms at gmail.com then just look for yourself on Friday and remember stay creative thank you Nathaniel that was awesome now let's go to Mr. Verdier's vocabulary word of the week good morning boys and girls this is Mr. Verdier with Verdier's vocabulary on this great Tuesday morning our word for this week is the word wallow to wallow is to roll about in something as a pig wallows in mud. Now wallow can be used to describe a physical action or an emotional state. So it can either be a verb or a noun. So in this case, the pig is wallowing in the mud. That's how we would use it as a verb. Now if we wanted to use it as a noun, a person, place, or thing, the mud is a place where the pig can go to wallow. So, let's use the word wallow in our vocabulary for this week. If you're feeling super bummed out that you can't come back to school for the remainder of the year, you can really wallow in your self-pity. But we don't want to do that, all right? We want to make sure that we have an awesome, positive attitude. But try to use the word wallow this week in your vocabulary. This is Mr. Verdier wishing everyone a terrific Tuesday. Thank you, Mr. Verdier. That was amazing. Now let's go to Weather with Vani. Thank you, Danielle. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecasted to be 92 degrees Fahrenheit and scattered thunderstorms. Now, let's go back to Danielle. Thank you, Vani. In admin announcements, teachers, please be on your remoto page to welcome your scholars in in the morning. 
Attendance must be taken at some point each day. And lastly, teachers, please don't forget to provide our scholars with positive hero points. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations. It represents. Present yourself positively. Act kindly towards others. Treat the school's environment respectfully and succeed at everything. Congrats, Ms. Milholm, Mrs. Kuttner, Ms. Cavalita, Mr. Santiago, Ms. Silvera, Ms. Fletcher, and Mrs. Santiago. You had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, In Guardians of the Galaxy, what is the name of the main character? The correct answer was Star-Lord or Peter Quill. Now for today's trivia question. Is a scorpion a part of the Arachnid family? Once again, is a scorpion a part of the Arachnid family? Teachers, please send your answers to pies.renaissance at gmail.com before 10.30 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you a terrific Tuesday. And remember, reset your mindset. Have a great day!